Hey guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial. I am Arten Veda, a digital artist from Berlin. And if you don't know me, uh, you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok. That I regularly post short tutorials and my art. So it would be nice if you want to support me. Let's move on to the tutorial. Today we will create this cool animation. You can use it later on as mock-up for your own art to promote your art on social media. And it has a really cool effect and it's e really easy to create. So let's move on. The 3D, the 3D objects. 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 Alright, first we start with the render settings. Here I choose physical. Under the format I choose 1080 by 1080 pixels. That's the perfect format for Instagram. And for frame range, we choose all frames because we will render animation. In the next step, we choose a plane. And my posters are always 1080 by 1350 pixels. And on the internet, there are pixel to centimeter converters. Um, this corresponds to 9.14 and in the height 11.24. For free. Yeah. <laughs> so now we have the perfect format for our poster later on. Now we change to display shading lines so we can see how many segments the plane have. That's too low. I increase it by 20 in both or on all axes. I think this is enough. And now we rotate the plane by 90 degrees with the rotation tool like this. And now we make out of the plane a current state object so we can work with physics on it later on. So we get always here a backup plane. This we have to make invisible. And we have to choose always this one with this icon. Now we go here to the point selection and we select on the top around six points and on the bottom also six points. Now we go uh, choose the plane and we go under simulation tag and choose cloth. Then we go to the dresser tag and go to fix points and click on set. Now the points are fixed and they will don't move in the animation later on. Now we go to the tag tag and here we choose six and for the other values zero. Um, I think that's the best values for this project, but you can play around later on. Now we go to forces. For gravity, we choose zero. And here it's really cool. We have included wind and turbulence forces. So we don't have to build um, separately force fielders. Force fields. <laughs> Under wind direction X, we choose 6, under Y we choose 0 0.3 and under Z 0. And for wind strength I choose 25, but you have to see later on how strong you want the animation. For me was 25 the best value. If we hit play, it looks good already, but it's in the beginning a little bit weird. To fix this, we have to choose a suitable uh, frame. So we have to look. It is by around 60 really good, I think. So now we can go to dresser and go under init state. We can set this frame as beginning frame. And now the animation will always start from this point. Perfect. It looks good. And now we have to increase the whole animation to 250 frames so that the whole animation is longer. Perfect. Yeah. And in the end, we choose subdivision surface to get a smoother result. And in the end, we have to choose a good view on the poster. I think that's good. I always play the animation to see if everything is in the render region. But now I think it's perfect. Yeah. Wow. Attention, the artwork of the week. 
Nightshui did it. He tagged me under his artwork with at Art Invader. And now you have the exclusive shout out here. I really love the animation. The colors are really cool and the vibe and especially the color changing. Well done. And yeah, you find the link to Night Shui on uh, social media in the caption. Follow him and give him some love. And let's move on with the tutorial. The materials. The materials. The materials. So now we came to the materials. First, we create a sky for the lightning. And we create a new material and drag and drop it on the sky. Now we open the material. And we only need the luminance channel. And here on the texture, we can inc uh, include a new image. And I choose this one. Yeah. All right. The lightning is now on. Now we create a new material for the poster and drag and drop it on it. And now we open it. And under color, we can include our poster. I choose an old graphic of mine and now we can also change the display to this. And if your graphic is not perfect here on uh, your poster, like here it's on the wrong side, we have to go click on the image. I oh, know here on the texture. Okay, my computer is really slow. And then we have to go to layer. And then we have to click on the image. Then we go to effect and we choose transform. And here we can choose mirror. Now it's perfect on our poster plane. In the next step, we go to reflectance, then to remove and we add a new Beckman layer. And here we can change the strength of it. I choose around six because I don't want a too strong effect. Under roughness I choose 20 and under specular strength 6. So that we can see how it looks like we open the interactive render region because we have also to see how the background look like. But yeah it looks good and the background we have to rotate with the rotation tool because it's not right. <laughs> But first we set a camera to fix our scene and now we can, oh this was wrong, now we can rotate the sky. But we have only uh, to rotate the sky to see good lightning. I think now it's good. And in the next step we create a plane and put it behind the poster. So like this, don't make it too big because uh, the picture can get really pixeled if the plane is too big. But now we have the plane and we choose also the sky material as background. And now we have this perfect result. And here we also rotate the plane because it's also not right. What's right? I think like this. <laughs> Okay, so now it looks like this. Yeah, really cool. I hope you also like it. You want my project file? You can get it. On Patreon you can find my project with all textures I use. There you can also support me as an artist so I can create more cool stuff for you. And a very big thank you for my Patreons. You are the best. And now we came to... The animation. The animation, 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 animation. So now we came to the animation. It's a really uh, small part. We uh, only animate the background here. So first we choose the plane. Um, go now to the icon here and set the keyframe. Then we go to the end of the animation and um, take the plane to the left a little bit like this. And oh, yeah. Don't forget to set the keyframe again. And now the background is also animated. And we want that the background is linear animated. So we go here under timeline F curve and we choose the plane and select all points and press 
to the linear button. Yeah, that's it. We are ready. I hope you liked the tutorial. And yeah, write it in the comments and send me your results. <laughs> Follow me so you don't miss another video from me. A new Cinema 4D and Blender tutorial comes out every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to tag me at Art Invader under your renders. I want to see what cool things you've created. See you in the next week.